All right, let's see what we find. We have no idea because we have not checked our bees yet. Don't tell the bee police. So we have a brand new set of deep frames that we might have to replace. Ooh, I need some medium frames in case we have to take some honey out. Let me go grab some medium frames and then we'll be good to go. You want to go grab those? <laughs> They're right inside the door of the barn. I had them ready. If all eight frames are full of honey, we will just take the entire box off and replace it with these deep. But if there's not a lot of honey, then we will only take a little bit of it and replace it with empty frames. We've actually never done a honey harvest from a live colony. So this is new to us and we're hoping to get some honey. This is their second year. So there should be, it should be full of honey. And, and I'm, I'm hoping that's what I see, but we don't know yet because we haven't been in the hives and done an inspection yet. So this is our inspection slash honey harvest if it's available. Well, I guess it's safe to say that this is a healthy swarm we caught. They are busy, busy bees. All right, so we added another box to our swarm hive and got a couple of frames of honey from the other two hives each. We didn't want to take it all, so we just took a little, just a sample. So we're gonna have some honey crushing and tasting. Are you guys picking strawberries? Beautiful, ripe, organic strawberries. How many have you eaten, Daddy? Uh, like three. <laughs> we just got here. It's probably gonna have more than three. Oh, more, Mama. Oh, more, Mama. Make sure it's red, not white. Nope, nope, nope. Not the white one. Huh? Gotta pick solid red. Huh? Daddy, you teach him a little bit stronger. Look, I already told him, but I think he needs reinforcement. Not the white one. There's plenty of red ones. Are you just eating them instead of picking? <laughs> you trying to get Odin to come? I mean, you trying to get Liam to come? Come on, Lily. Come on, Wee Wee. Hey, can I see your fingers? You got a lot of strawberries today, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Mine looked like that too. Uh -huh. yeah. In your face, so uh -huh. much strawberries. Let me see you. Look at your chin. <laughs> Smile for the camera. Hi. <laughs> I have lots of strawberries. Yeah, you do. My hands are red. Yeah, mine do. <laughs> Alright, come on. When you're so obsessed with strawberries that you buy all of them. of our homestead. <laughs> what are you doing? 
<laughs> you pushing me while I'm trying to film. All right, I decided to pull some garlic heads to see because everybody is having to pull their garlic early here in Georgia. And sure enough, so are we. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably pull all of it. I might leave some, but I'm gonna evaluate as I go. If I see one that looks like it's gonna be tiny, I might not pull it out. Mama. Yeah, go put them with the garlic. Mama. We decided to get a couple of these extra large onions to cure as well. So we're gonna put our garlic and our onions to dry in the sun. And then we'll hang them up to stay dry. Watch your step. Ooh, you're coming close to the corner of that. All right. Put them up here. You, want, you need some help? Uh -huh. You do one at a time. Oh, okay. I want me, Ma. Yeah, you're going to do that one? Yeah. Oh, big boy. Big helper. Thank Whoa. you. So, we had a very strange winter, which is the growing season for garlic. So, the garlic has had a very abnormal year for growing, and it looks abnormal. We've got some that are huge and already trying to sprout and grow new heads, and we got some that didn't even divide into heads that are still really small. Well, that one's divided. Yeah, that one's dividing. But garlic goes through like an onion stage where it's just layers before it starts to clove off. Like you can tell this bump right here is a clove forming on the outside. Mama. Obviously, Mama. this one is doing the same. But you just never know what to expect with your growing season. How it's going to affect the crops. You just have to go with it. And for me, I decided it was worth pulling it all the garlic and having that bed for something else to be planted into. The guinea have taken quite an interest in the bunny. Champ has a new outdoor cage so that he can have more space and more breathe. We might still put him in our more protected location at night, but he likes it out here. The American breasts are doing very well. They are upgraded to the chicken tractor. And it looks like we have a good hen to roo ratio. So we'll, we'll be confirming that as things get further along. But right now it looks like we have a couple of roos and a couple of hens. So that's enough to start breeding them. You got it open? Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, put that one in there. Okay. Perfect. Now zip it closed. Yeah. Uh -huh. So easy. A three-year-old can do it. We are going to use this to dry some of our herbs for teas and medicines. Uh -huh. 